So what would you say is something like cool that Microsoft is doing where it's like, oh, wow, this is actually pretty neat. I haven't seen this before. This is offering a lot of flexibility or promise and for the future of making identity better. Have you seen anything like that that's kind of like jumped out at you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know if they're. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's the thing. I don't know that they're necessarily a leader in, yeah. in a lot of these spaces. Um, I think uh, you know, and I, I don't don't want to insult anyone at Microsoft, but I, I always joke about them being more of a of a steamroller kind of approach. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I think of the Austin Powers, you know, and the and the steamroller run over the guy. But um, you know, they're they're very they're slow and they they keep moving. But at some point, you know, here they are and they've got they've got all the components and you know they just keep things rolling. Yep. Well, I remember them when they came up with Azure, just their cloud. It it was I, the directive had to have been from the very top. You are selling this. Everyone yeah. is to go to Azure. I don't care. Get everyone on the cloud because, man, those sales guys were just, everything was Azure trying to get people up into their cloud. And I, it never made any sense to me because at the time, you know, AWS just was murdering it compared to Azure. And it was also cheaper. It was more flexible, a lot more availability zones. I mean, pretty much in every way, unless you're an AD shop, it was better. Um, but still, now everyone's in Azure. You know, I mean, they they. I think you're right about that steamroller effect, right? They just went out to their sales team and said, "This is what we're doing. Go make it happen. Don't sell anything else." Like, I don't know if they just got crazy bonuses every time they got someone into the cloud, but now pretty much every client has Azure AD, ADFS, something going on in Azure. It's pretty well. Um, yep, yeah, Azure. The, the, we're calling the, it Azure. The cloud licensing <laughs> big push, and then I think it was a year or two later they started using the consumption push because they found out that, hey, just buying the licenses isn't enough. You got to make sure people are actually using these things because, yeah. you know, once you get heavily tied in, it's not so easy to uh, to move on to something else. So how is the licensing on the the Entra ID? You said it's, is it like, it's, you said it's per user? Like, it's, is it anything else tied to it? Is it literally just however many users on a, like a monthly, if it's touched or just if it's in there in the directory or how's that kind of work? You know? Yeah, it's per user per month. And there are some if you want the users to truly be managed, um, like with some of the access workflows and the attestation processes that you're gonna have to pay for those users, they've got some other options, you know, maybe for you know some of our clients that have people that are kind of, uh, you know, working an assembly line or something like that, right? They're yeah. not necessarily gonna have to have a full governance license. They can get away with some of the lower end, just the, you know, Azure P1 licenses and, you know, maybe even a, an F1 or P1 if they need email, things like that. Some of the really more simpler stuff. 